Hello there, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be a bonus collective love reading. Let's see what's coming towards you. What you can expect, what's going on. We're going to go with wherever the tarot leads us. Okay, so if this reading resonates... Please like and subscribe, hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And <clears throat> since this is a collective reading, um, make sure to take a look at your March readings. I have them all uploaded um, on a playlist so you can take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. Okay, let's see what's going on for the collective. Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups. The Nine of Swords. And the Eight of Cups. Wow, okay. At the bottom we have the Eight of Pentacles. So for this collective reading, I'm really feeling like with the Five of Pentacles, um, <clears throat> I'm feeling like you've been kind of unappreciated lately, but you, you're, you have this King of Cups energy coming in. So I feel like there is love coming in for you, collective. Um, and I feel like this may be very unexpected, um, because you have the Nine of Swords energy. So I feel like it's something that you're not expecting. It's something that you are not even seeing coming. Because I feel like there's some kind of distraction. I feel like you're being distracted by maybe things in your situation or just life situations. But I feel like there's distractions. You, you may not even see this King of Cups coming in. But I feel like this is something that you're walking towards. I don't feel like you're walking away from this energy. I feel like you're walking towards this energy. You're walking into the sun, into some kind of happy situation. Okay. Um, let's clarify a little bit. Tell me more about this Five of Pentacles energy. Tell me more about this Five of Pentacles energy, please. Okay, we have the Magician. This is something that you may be manifesting and not even realizing. Um, I feel like you are definitely looking for love. You're trying to create a certain situation. And I feel like this King of Cups energy is going to be the start of something new. It's going to be a fresh start. A situation that you are able to grow into okay um, with the nine of swords we have the queen of swords so I definitely feel like you're deep in thought about your situation and I feel like you're like moving away from the distraction and I feel like you're definitely thinking about how things can be, how things, how you want things to be, okay? Um, I definitely feel like this King of Cups energy is thinking about you, um, but you're distracted by some kind of situation. Okay, this Eight of Cups energy, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, exactly how I was feeling. I feel like you're like moving into this situation. You're moving into it very quickly. Look how they're both going in the same direction. They're both going. She's going towards the sun, okay? And he's moving fast to go in the same direction. So I feel like there's some kind of situation. You're, you're moving forward, which is a good thing because I feel like you're moving away from 
um, past events or things that may have happened in the past. So I feel like you're you're definitely moving forward. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's get some more energy. With the Magician and the Fool, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So beautiful energy. I feel like this situation that's coming towards you, this is something that you are going to value. Uh, I feel like this person um, may be watching you from afar, but they feel like you have the, um, the personality traits, the characteristics that they can truly value and hold dear to them okay um beautiful energy actually we have the six of cups so i definitely feel a lot of love in this situation um with the six of cups energy this may be someone that you already know someone that you're familiar with this is my card of family uh, celebrations, maybe someone coming in from the past, uh, someone that you're already familiar with. Okay, so this may be someone that you work with, someone that's around you, a friend of a friend, um, but I feel like this is someone that you are really getting to know, and I feel like this person has a crush on you. They, they're thinking about you a lot. Okay, you may not even know this person has a crush on you. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands energy. Beautiful. We have two queens. So I feel like, you know, the Queen of Pentacles, this is value, stability, being solid, being stable. The Queen of Wands, she's fire. She's confident. She's, you know, vibrant, uh, full of feisty, flirty energy. Okay. So I, I feel like this is really lifting you up. This is really bringing you into a new energy. So it's very interesting. Um, let's see. Oh, wow. With the Queen of Pentacles, we have the King of Pentacles. So this is a power couple. I feel like this crush. This may turn into something more serious because... With the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, this is totally solid. The King of Pentacles, they want to provide all of your needs. You know, they want to provide this stable love situation, um, support. This is someone who's very wise. And I'm really getting with the King of Pentacles. This may be someone a few years older than you. But I feel like it's actually someone that you may be attracted to. But this crush. I feel like this crush, this crush is intense. With this Magician and the Fool. This is a fresh start. This is something beautiful being created. Okay. We have the Hierophants. So definitely this can lead to something more serious. Definitely it can lead to something more serious. Something that... May... I mean, this King of Pentacles, this may be marriage material you can be male or female you know um i don't attach gender to the tarot you can hold any of these qualities okay but i feel like this could be something that is leading to something more serious more long lasting Very interesting here. See, wow. The lovers. Definitely, this could be a soulmate situation. I feel like this is very vibrant, very sexual, very sensual. 
there's a lot of power, a lot of fire here. Okay. We also have the King of Swords energy. So I think it's very, this person is very thought provoking. They're very strategic in their thinking. I feel like this is an out of box thinker. Okay. Um, and I'm really getting that it may be someone a little bit older. Um, but I feel like with the, the King of Swords energy, this is someone who's very wise, very smart, very intelligent. Okay. This is someone who holds maybe a higher rank if it's at your job. It may be someone in, um, someone above you. Okay, they could be in your department or another department, but I feel like this is someone who's a little higher above you. Maybe they make a little bit more money than you do. Um, but it's definitely someone who's very smart, intelligent. So I feel like this is really beautiful energy. We have the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom. So I really feel like this is something that can grow into something that you are really yearning for is what I'm getting okay um, something that you're yearning for hmm let's get some oracle cards Since this is collective energy, this you could be any sign. They could be any sign. Um, I do see a lot of earth here. Some fire, some swords, um, Aries energy, Gemini. Hmm. Cups energy. So actually they could be any sign. No one suit stands out more. Okay. Um, <clears throat> see. Okay, we have let go. Okay, there's some kind of energy that you need to let go of with this Five of Pentacles energy. Like I said at the beginning, I feel like you're you're kind of feeling unappreciated. So there's some kind of energy that you need to let go of so that all of this will open up. So that, you know, whatever this love situation is coming. Maybe you've had a hard week. Maybe, you know, you've been kind of in your feelings or whatever. But I feel like there's something that... You need to release before this energy comes into you, into your, into your energy, okay? Okay, we have ask for help from others. Hmm. I feel like, you know, with asking for help from others, I feel like this situation may come about by you asking for some kind of help. Asking for a situation to be resolved or help with a situation to be resolved. Hmm. Um, it's up to you. So I feel like, you know, it's up to you to maybe make the first move. Uh, we also have look for a sign. So I feel like there may be signs and uh, reminders that you may see. Okay. Um, <laughs> but this is definitely interesting. Okay. Now, if you have any questions that you need to be answered... The universe is letting you know it is a yes. 
it is a yes at this moment okay you also may be improving your health improving health situations at this time so that's beautiful and we have as a timeline within the next few weeks so I feel like within the next few weeks things are going to start looking up if you've been in kind of a slump or if you've been kind of down I feel like in the next few weeks everything is going to be improving okay so wonderful energy we also have remain positive the more positive energy you put out there collective the more positive energy you will get back okay so that is beautiful energy for you Okay, we're going to get one more oracle card, and then we're going to go ahead and end the reading. Okay, we have joy and contentment. So I feel like, you know, especially within the next few weeks, I feel like there's going to be a lot of joy, a lot of joyful moments for you. Um... This may be time for celebration, time to get yourself together, time to focus on you as a collective, okay? Time to take time out for yourself, you know, just block out that slot um, and just take some you time, you know, um, focus on you. We have manifestations. Yeah, we have the magician as well. So I feel like there is definitely something that you are manifesting at this time. There's some kind of energy that you are creating. Uh, it could be this, this lover energy here that is coming through for you. So that is very beautiful. Okay. So, collective. This is your reading. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Okay? Also, uh, take a look at your March readings. I have all of the first weeks of March in a playlist. So take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Okay? So that is what I have for you, Collective. This is a bonus reading, so this is extra good stuff for you. And until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.